And welcome to the next part of our guide for Resident Evil 5. I hope you've been enjoying the show so far. Yeah, right. Anyway, here we go. And we're about to confront Irving. Terrorists. Oh, I'm not like them. I'm a businessman with standards. Drop the weapon. Or how about you drop yours? Do yourself a favor and shoot the bastard in the legs. Like now. Oh, too late. Would have made things so much easier. Gee, I wonder who that could be. I like Irving. He's funny and stupid. Ugh. Great. Looks like Irving has a partner. Gee, you think? There must be something here he didn't want us to see. What is it? Look at this. The oil field. That's in the marshlands. Delta team, Chris here. Okay, Look first things Irving. first. We got away. Get the sniper rifle from the locker there. We think he's heading for an oil field in the marshlands. Well, you know, keep the one you've got. Roger that. Start kicking ass. Nice shot. Why, thank you. Shoot this bass is there. Yeah, just pretty much take your time here. You know, use a sniper, get rid of all the enemies that you see. Makes so makes things so much easier. There's some here on the roof there. What the hell was that? I was trying to scream get him in Elvish. He failed. Epically. Thank you. Jesus, how many people are there? A lot. The turret ones are actually kind of random. You think you got all of them, and then there's someone else running towards it afterwards. So you got to be careful with that. Okay. Come on. Okay. You grab it. Okay. You know the cover system for this isn't that bad. Nice work. It really isn't. It's just like one button. Whereas in Resident Evil 6, you got to like. Uh, Fucking hell. Resident Evil 6. Jesus. I really hate the cover in that. It's, it feels like a step backwards compared to what they did here. Really? I mean, sure, it wasn't all that perfect, but here, in this game, this game gets props for only using one button. There, you've got to use one button and then press X to crutch. It's ridiculous. But never mind that, we're focusing on this game, not that game. I missed this one. There we go. That's it. That should be all the best that's there.
a little surprise coming up. I do want to point out that I do edit out the sections where I am upgrading and selling my treasures. As you know, they just slow the video down. I just want to get right into it, so apologize for that. I don't think they care about that. You never know, some people always complain. So it's best to let them know. Why was there a Mexican in there? It was Saddam Hussein trying to hide. Oh. That's not funny. Your jokes suck. I think you forgot something. Like what? The treasure. Yes, I did. I saw that sparkle. <sighs> oh, come on. Hurry up already. We're wasting time here. I know, I know, I know. I'm trying to do this as fast as I can. I do love the detail in this section here, like how the sun's just set in there. I do miss the original content for this game. The content? What? Content for this game, you know, how, how the original version, like, you'll be going around the village and, you know, there'll be climate weather, it'll be raining, it'll be hot. So disappointing to cut all that stuff out. seem to do is complain about how this game could have been. I mean, it's good, it's good, but see this is the thing, what I hate most is when I read something about something and then I expect that to be in there and then it's not. It kind of pisses me off. You know, I feel like I've been lied to, betrayed, you know, I'm looking forward to something and it's not there, so you know, of course it's gonna piss me gonna piss me off. You have too many expectations, that's your problem. You need to like learn to not overhype yourself. Or I don't know, maybe the developers can learn to be honest about stuff. It's too heavy for you. Let me give you a hand. That's too heavy for him. He can punch a fucking boulder, but he can't push that. Okay, yeah. Lots of logic in there. This game really lacks, you know, decent monster designs, but I do like this thing, the bat creature thing. I thought that was a very awesome design. Look at it. Oh, it looks badass. 
No, I just realized something. What? Did that thing appear at the end of Resident Evil Retribution? No way. That wasn't it. I think it was. Well, technically, it's a giant bat stuck to a giant penis. We're gonna need mines. Lots and lots of mines. Try harder. It should be dead now, right? Nope. Now it's dead. Tragedy. Boy, I'm just saying. Oh look, it's a nameless red shirt come to save them. Gee, I wonder if he's gonna survive. And that's the end of that chapter. S rank, how lucky, don't you think? Meh. <laughs>